Hey, thank you very much again, Jim. Michael, did you execute the game plan and get executed in the process? You know, Jim, I, I think I, Larry, I came, I, I was just too, too, uh, too anxious and everything. You know, a lot of people look at me to go ahead and bring this thing home, and I wanted to do that for me and for everybody who supported me. And, you know, I felt a lot of love in, in Madison Square Garden tonight, and I'll never forget that. This has been pretty much the biggest shot in my career. And, uh, no, I didn't. I didn't execute the thing that I should have did. Are you, are you saying that somehow you got caught up in the excitement of this and perhaps went out too fast or perhaps went out in a way in which you were attacking but not defending at all? Uh, that I was. I was attacking. Before, but before we get into the answer, let me give honor to God and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I know things didn't work out the way I wanted to, but that was God's will, the way it happened right there. But, uh, no, I didn't attack. Um, I mean, it did, things didn't happen the way they should have happened for, as far as what my corner wanted me to do. Um, I know I went down. I seen a lot of openness. The guy had his hand down, so I wanted to take advantage of that stuff. And uh, obviously, he's, he's swinging on wild left hooks because he knew that he was a smart fighter. I give credit to him. He was a smart fighter. He knew I was going to come after that head. He had it wide open, and uh, he did the correct thing. He, 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 he threw an overhand hook to catch me around the backside and lock my equilibrium off, and there I was, I went down. So, so you, did you ever regain your equilibrium between rounds? Did you, were you able to restore yourself to any degree when you came out in the second round? What were you feeling? Yeah, I felt good, I felt good. I, I was restored and everything. I, I wasn't hurt still. When I, when I sat down the corner and got maybe 30 second rest, I was ready to go back. I, I didn't even want to sit no more. I was ready to get back out there and fight because the, the guy knocked me down and it made me mad. I don't want to get out there and just try to do what I had to do. All right, let's take a look at the final knockdown, and you tell us what you saw, because it's apparent in these uh, pictures that he was holding you, or were you just bending down? Tell us what you see. Um, uh, you know, he, he threw a jab, and I threw a jab, and or at that point right there, I think I was leaning in too far. He, he brought a punch under. You know, Lennox leans his weight on him, which is which is a smart idea. If, if the ref ain't gonna say nothing about it, it's a good thing to do. Lean your weight on your opponent and everything, and uh, until the ref breaks you up, and then you can do what you want pretty much. Until the ref say anything about it, but uh, he leaned on me and everything. Then he wanted to get sneaky with me, threw a, a short upper cup in there, uh, probably hit me on the chin or in the neck or somewhere, and just you know, weaken my equilibrium. If you had it to do all over again, would you trust your boxing skills? more than you did tonight <laughs> absolutely <laughs> absolutely uh, <laughs> there I, I went to a straight grudge match and um, I shouldn't have did that that was stupidity on my part but hey I'm learning I learned this game and, and, and I, I gotta get thanks uh, Larry you know I came a long way in a short period of time through my dedication so we can assume that we'll see Michael Grant again oh it ain't over to the fat lady sing and everybody here wearing a size six dress Thank you very much, Michael.